Coming up next week at the Strasbourg Plenary, alcohol control, plastic bags, European cinema, and condemnation of Boko Haram. Welcome to the agenda. No more excuses. That was a mess from the EU Foreign Affairs Chief Federica Mogherini. As a death toll from the latest tragedy off the Mediterranean Sea creeps up past 800. Just in the first few months of 2015 alone, over 1,700 migrants have died. This week in Brussels, EU leaders hastily convened an emergency summit. And on Wednesday, MEPs will vote on their own measures to try to save lives. Bring Back Our Girls was the campaign that even got the support of US First Lady Michelle Obama. But a year on, the 300 Chibok schoolgirls are still missing. As the Boko Haram continues to wage its campaign of killings, kidnappings and rape, what can be done? The Nigerian army has been unable to end their six-year insurgency. And with so much regional instability, African neighbors lack resources to lend their help. So what can Europe offer on the last day of the plenary MEPs debate? A million of them are used every minute. They're the most common found rubbish after cigarette stubs. But the end of the plastic bag is in the making. From 2019, it's bye-bye to the free plastic bag, as new rules will impose mandatory pricing Europe-wide. Citizens will also face a 90-bag yearly limit. It goes to plenary for a final vote on Tuesday. Does your night on the tiles involve you strategizing what and how you'll drink? Well, Europe, too, is about to get its own alcohol strategy. The drawbacks of drinking are pretty straightforward. Weight gain, a general lowering of reasonable behavior, also commonly referred to as stupidity. But on the higher end of the scale, it can lead to addiction and death. At the plenary, MEPs debate measures to reduce alcohol abuse on Wednesday as they try to push for new legislation. The Lux Prize-winning film Ida also took home an Oscar. The Brit film The Imitation Game was also Oscar-nominated. But still, US blockbusters dominate the European film market. So what's the remedy? The three Ds distribution, digitalization, and of course, dinero. Three things that could help reinvigorate the European film industry. On Tuesday, MEPs will look to pass a resolution to give the industry more backing. And don't forget that eCall will get its final roll call at the plenary on Tuesday. And second generation biofuels will get another push on Wednesday. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week. It seems to be